Hi guys, in this tutorial, I will be showing you how to get random objects from an array. In the first part of the tutorial, I'm going to be designing the layout, which is going to consist of an image view, a text view, and a button. In object-oriented programming, classes are used as a blueprint to create different objects. Some programmers call objects an instance. Objects have fields, or member variables. Let's say I was designing a car. This car would be an object and it would have properties such as number of wheels, top speed, make, etc. In our project, our app is going to have two fields, one for the image and one for the text. The text is going to be based on some random fact and the image is going to support the fact. Our class is going to be named facts and along with two fields which were previously mentioned it is going to have a constructor and a getter method for each field. It is very easy to create these with Android Studio. A constructor is used to initialize an object. Getters are used to obtain properties about that specific object. Remember, when creating an app, always test it at regular intervals to make sure it's running the way it should. Great, now that our layout is finished, let's go ahead and create that class. This allows us to create as many fact objects as we want. To create a constructor in Android Studio, just right click anywhere in the class definition that is between the curly braces and select generate. The shortcut key is command N on a Mac or control N on Windows. In our main activity, let's create fields for our image view, our text view, and the button. Then let's connect these variables to our XML. Once this is complete, we can start creating our objects. Each object must have an image and some text. After we create the objects, we are going to place them in an array. Think of an array as a container for objects. The first item in an array is always at position zero. To access this item, we type the array name followed by zero in square brackets. Now we need to set the image and text using the items in the array. We can place these instructions in a method called show random facts. To extract the fields from our objects, we will use the getter and setter methods that we generated in the facts class. Our app seems to be working nicely. Now all we need to do is to randomize the questions in the array. This is not the only way to do it, but in my opinion, it is a very easy way to do it. We're going to use this method called collections.shuffle arrays as list. And for the input, we're going to add the name of our array. Every time this method is called, it will shuffle all the items in our array. So let's create a method called shufflefax and add these instructions. Lastly, let's create an onclick listener for the button and add this method to it. If you enjoyed this video, hit like or subscribe and I will see you in the next one. And as always, thanks for watching.